Hi there. In our partial market equilibrium analysis, it is not necessary that we have linear equations of demand and supply. We can also have nonlinear equations of demand and supply. Here we will consider one of the possibilities that is out of demand and supply functions. We will consider that one of them is nonlinear. And here we are assuming that QD, that is the demand function, is nonlinear, that is quadratic whereas the supply function is still considered to be linear. We can also consider that supply function is quadratic or cubic or any other nonlinear form. Uh, this is also possible, but for the sake of convenience, we have kept it in a simple form. QD is equal to QS. Substituting the values QD and QS, we will get this equation, which has a quadratic specification. We can solve this and uh, it's a simple method of factorization by using which we are able to find the two values of prices and these are p1 and minus 5 so we know that minus 5 does not make any economic sense mathematically it is acceptable but in economics we do not have minus prices we have either a zero price which is also very rare but a positive price is very much logical so we will dispel this negative value and we will retain only the positive value of price now we can visualize this in this diagram you can see that we have plotted price on x-axis and the function of price that is quantity supplied and quantity demanded on y-axis we have plotted this nonlinear demand uh, supply function here and we can see that it extends to uh, fourth quadrant here and it also extends to the third quadrant as well as the second quadrant but we know that this uh, part of the diagram is logical for us because here a positive price and a positive quantity supplied will be there these are mathematically permitted but not in economic sense so this is another example of a supply function which is having a quadratic specification and appearing in a sad parabola or a u-shaped parabola diagram now we can consider this uh, for the sake of solution uh, here we are considering this supply function and by using this supply function we are going to solve this um, this is a quadratic formula which is applicable here the value of a will be 1 the value of b will be 4 and the value of c will be minus 5 so putting these values we will get uh, the value of price which is not a unique value it is basically a couple of values and here we are 1 and minus 5 so minus 5 doesn't seem to be any logical price so we continue with p is equal to 1. Going back to this uh, graph of price, you can see that uh, p is equal to 1 is logical. This is the reservation price because the seller will not be willing to sell any of the good before the price reaches the level of 1 at least. Before it, you can see that there is no positive supply. And the other value was minus 5. Here it is. It is mathematically logical but not in economic sense because negative price is not usually the uh, real life scenario. So we can extend this analysis of nonlinear demand or supply functions by using the cubic functions or quartile functions. This is a general form of the cubic function and this is the general form of a quartile function. So this was the example of a supply function in quadratic specification. This was its diagram and this was the solution of the partial market equilibrium with a non-linear model where the quantity demanded is represented in a demand function which is non-linear and this was the equilibrium price from it. We can also find the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied from it and that will be 
found simply by putting the value of price here and here the answer will be the same you can do this as a rehearsal and this is how we can easily solve a non-linear case which is quite similar to the linear case but comes up with multiple roots and we have to choose the logical one and we have to dispel the illogical one thank you